So I want to believe that everything happens for a reason, y'all. I want to believe that God has a plan for me and that I am on a path to fulfill a destiny involving miracles and sunsets with amazing revelations. But I know now that for every event we claim to justify makes sense, always comes one that finds a way to crush your faith and belief systems. And we all know how to find ways to rationalize our dilemmas, trivializing these major life transformations, forgetting that in a blink of an eye, all of what we think we know can change. But just once, I need somebody to show me all the things that I can't see. Show me the ripples that could encourage even the greatest skeptics amongst us to believe. You want to make a believer out of me. Help me understand why wars have to happen. Someone explain to me why sex offenders sometimes go free or what compels a suicide bomber to instrument death sentences on streets? What reason comes from tsunamis and Hurricane Katrinas and malaria running rampant on third world countries? I'm still just trying to process, y'all, why my plane didn't go down. Three days before this moment, I'm realizing that I'm happy. I'm satisfied with what I've already achieved. I bought a plane 30 minutes into the flight. Y'all, there's turbulence, right? And then we get struck by lightning, and then we're going down. Picture me holding hands with a stranger next to an empty middle seat. We're going down. Everyone around me is screaming. I'm praying. I'm crying. So this is how it happens, I'm thinking. And my entire existence swims and collapses into a collection of should have been, could have been tomorrows before me. With no future conversations, no miracles or sunsets with amazing revelations, not seeing my brother get married or my sister deliver her first baby. I'm talking images that hit me from this core to that reality that life will go on without me. So I stand before you now, here by the grace of God. For whatever reason, that end was not for me. But what remained within were thoughts of a thousand poems shouting, Yoka, this is what a blink of an eye was meant to feel like. Acknowledge the power of what was meant to be. Because all of what you think you know can at any point end abruptly. And how this translates to me is to sometimes say, rock the mic at a slam, even if nobody at the back is listening. Hold a hand if you can't stop trembling. Take a shot. Funk a beat. Just bring it. Do whatever it takes or whatever it is that makes you come alive. Because what remains the same are life's little downpours of pain. And after the storm is over, somehow life and death will manage a balance to make room for one more. And yes, there is a whole lot of hurt in this world and more nonsense than any of us in here can list in three minutes. Experiences out there that would cause the most saved Christian to run to atheism. Well, the loudest poet that I know who swears by vegan to one day dog that big bucket of Popeye's chicken when nobody's looking. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, there has got to be more to all of this than the rationalizations that lie between the legitimate and the possibility that everything is going to happen for a reason. But you have got to find it. And let that be a daily testament that every person you meet at any point can play a role in your life that could change the dynamics of everything. That every day you breathe is another day's opportunity left to dream. So dream of thunder and lightning and coincidences that saved your life and strangers that helped you get by and failures that pushed you to fly and moments that will change you in the blink of an eye.